The majority of scooters are about economical daily commute from point A to point B. This, however, is not a fitting description for today's lineup of the newest maxi scooters. These machines do not care about fuel economy. They just offer raw power and challenge motorcycles in terms of practicality and pure badassery. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory and let's explore the super scooters of tomorrow. Enjoy the ride! Yamaha T Max 560 Often considered to be the original maxi scooter, the T Max has been on the market for 24 years. Now, the model is getting an all new 560 version, powered by Euro 5 compliant 562cc liquid cooled fuel injected parallel twin four stroke engine. The mill produces 47 horses and 41 pound feet. It comes paired with an automatic CVT gearbox and a belt drive. The scoot gets angular bodywork, projector LED headlights, and 15 inch alloy wheels with dual disc brakes up front. Its lightweight twin spar aluminum frame comes fitted with a USD front fork and an adjustable rear suspension. The total weight of the new T Max reaches 484 pounds with a full 15 liter fuel tank on board. The 560 comes packed with convenience features and modern tech. Your comfort is ensured by heated seat and grips, an electrically adjustable windscreen and wide floorboards for your feet. The riding assists include two power modes, traction control, two-channel ABS and cruise control. Additionally, the T-Max boasts a new 7-inch TFT display with full map Garmin navigation and smartphone connectivity. Italjet Dragster 559 Thanks to their exoskeleton chassis, exposed bodywork and unconventional suspension, Italjet models have been boldly called superbikes within the scooter's universe. In 2024, however, the sporty design of these scooters will be backed up by a flagship model with a worthy engine and a racing DNA that has been honed in cooperation with the ex-MotoGP rider Andrea Dovizioso. Italjet's all-new Dragster 559 arrives as a follow-up to the 500 GP concept. But unlike its predecessor with the CF Moto engine, it receives a liquid-cooled 8-valve dual overhead cam twin produced by the Chinese brand Zongshan. With 58 horsepower at 8500 rpm and 55 Nm or 40.5 lb-ft of torque, it actually beats the mighty T-Max TechMax. The boring CVT was replaced with a 6-speed manual gearbox, there is a 48mm upside-down fork with 120mm of travel, MotoGP-inspired height-adjustable cantilever rear shock, Brembo brakes, and Pirelli Diablo tires. Kimco AK Premium AK550 has been making waves in the Maxi Scooter segment ever since its introduction in 2017. But during all this time, it has been always lacking something to compete with the big boys. The new AK Premium version, on the other hand, is leveling the field and challenging the T Max as the new luxury Maxi King. The Skimco showcases a more aggressive and futuristic body design, highlighted by a menacing front fascia with dynamic LEDs. The AK Premium is propelled by a 550cc twin cylinder engine featuring a 270 degree crankshaft and generating 51 horsepower. This power plant is paired with a continuously variable gearbox for a smooth and effortless ride. Weighing 524 pounds, the new Kemco is undeniably a heavyweight, but it does offer truly premium features like multi stage heated grips, multi textured seating surfaces, full color LED screen and an electronically adjustable windshield. Moreover, the tech package includes a throttle-by-wire technology, traction control, cruise control, and customizable riding modes, allowing riders to select from two distinct power profiles. If you agree that maxi scooters are cooler than sports bikes, then make sure to smash the like button. Or just hit the like button if you want to support us. We keep rolling! Peugeot XP400 GT The French are behind some of the world's most brutal endurance racing events. So, they definitely know how to meet the demands for a vehicle capable to overcome any off-roading scenarios. 
The newest addition to Peugeot's scooter lineup arrives to compete against Honda's popular line of adventure models. The XP400 GT gets a special frame geometry, a two-tone exterior design with prominent fairings, split LED headlights, a distinctive beak, and an electronically adjustable windshield. Weighing in at 509 pounds, the scooter is powered by a single-cylinder, 37-horsepower liquid-cooled engine with a displacement of 400cc. The XP400 rides on mismatched wheels, a 17-inch front wheel and a 15-inch rear, outfitted with spoke trims and Pirelli tires. Not a stranger to challenging terrain, the GT rides on a high-end suspension with a 41mm upside-down fork and a single shock absorber in the rear. The braking system consists of a 295mm dual-disc setup at the front and a 240mm single-disc setup at the rear, both powered by dual-channel ABS. Proudly made in France, this SUV of a scooter comes in two trims, Allure and GT, and can be fitted with plenty of Grand Touring accessories straight from the factory. Zantis 501 Already a well-known name on the market of entry-level scooters for novices, the Chinese Zantis is trying something new with their upcoming 501 Maxi Scooter lineup. The series includes four models, each with its own specifics. The 501e takes inspiration from the smaller 350e and belongs to the GT class. The 501k offers similar characteristics but has more streamlined bodywork. The 501h is a sports maxi scooter, while the 501g is set to compete in the adventure class. It has more all-terrain ready bodywork, roll bars and different wire spoke wheels. The entire family is brought into motion by a solid 491cc liquid-cooled fuel-injected power plant with 47 horses and 39 pound-feet. It is set to produce speeds up to 109 miles per hour, while the bike's standard 17-liter fuel tank should offer respectable driving autonomy. Other details of the 501 range remain under wraps, and same is true for the pricing and market availability. Vimoto APD Concept by Pininfarina For the second year in a row, the Australian manufacturer and distributor of electric scooters Vimoto is collaborating with the legendary Italian design studio Centro Stili Pininfarina. This time they're presenting a more refined concept vehicle that soon might actually hit the production lines at the Vimoto's production facility located in Nanjing, China. The APD electric scooter was developed in Pininfarina's wind tunnel and its final design is called by Vimoto, Sculpted by the Wind, though for its aerodynamic efficiency is maximized to squeeze out every single extra mile from the battery pack. The synergy of form and function of the bike can be noticed in the Pininfarina specific bag that is hidden in the footrest tunnel. There is a premium seat and the performance characteristics are expected to blow away any rider. SYM Maxim GT The flagship scooter from the Taiwanese SYM is getting long distance ready with its 2024 update. Renamed to Maxim GT, the model aims to bring riders a more Gran Turismo-like riding experience. It gets revised, sportier-looking lighting, new bodywork and a standard top case carrier. The seat was reshaped to provide a comfier ride. It is also repositioned to 788mm or 31 inches above the ground. The Maxim keeps its usual lightweight underpinnings, but benefits from an upgraded braking system. It is represented by new 288mm front floating discs with a radial for piston caliper. The GT also offers a spacious luggage compartment under the seats and gets two glove boxes with integrated USB quick chargers. The only thing that remains unchanged is the SYM's 399cc liquid-cold single with 34 horses. It is paired to the CVT for a maximum speed of 102 miles per hour. Piper Moto J Series Established by John Piper in 2013, Piper Motor wants to build bikes that combine precise engineering and artisan craftsmanship. The brand's first project is the J-Series Super Scooter, 
that will be built to order, getting numbered chassis and highly customizable equipment. The model might look like a classic scooter, but underneath this retro guise is hidden an insane 67hp 690cc single cylinder engine borrowed from the KTM 690. This is not at all surprising given Piper's Formula 1, Le Mans and WRC background. The mill offers 4 seconds 0 to 60 and produces speeds reaching 120 mph. The scoot builds on a chrome molybdenum tubular space frame with a KTM front telescopic suspension and a custom pushrod type rear setup. The bodywork is performed using composites, the wire spoke wheels measure 17 inches and the brake setup is supplied by Brembo. The latter features three 20mm discs with four piston calipers front and two 40mm units with single piston calipers in the rear. Kimco CVL6 Until now, Honda's XADV has been the only big board venture scooter in the business, but its unrivaled domination is about to end. Kimco CVL60 rides on the lightweight aluminum frame and is powered by 550cc liquid cooled fuel injected pearl twin. This mill is Euro 5 compliant, makes 50 horsepower, and was likely lifted from the AK550. Adventure cred of this Kimco is underwritten by a step over design and a white handlebar to improve off road control of the bike. It gets a short windshield and massive aluminum hard cases from GIVI. The long travel suspension is represented by USD forks and a rear monoshock, traction control can be switched off, and tires on 14 and 13 inch wheels have a rather aggressive tread. What maxi scooter is the top dog in 2024? Is it still the Yamaha T Max or maybe the Edel Jet? Let's talk this over in the comment section. Make sure to smash the like button to support our channel and subscribe to Automotive Territory for more informative motorbike reviews. The links to other episodes of upcoming scooters are available through the links on the screen. We'll see you soon and may the torque be with you!